back to our bitch youtube channel today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful gathered raw food detail on fabric it just brings life to a simple dress i'll be using fa uh, scuba fabric for this tutorial it's very simple fabric manipulation technique and it's very very lovely if this is what you would like to learn kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial thank you welcome back to the bitch youtube channel today we'll be learning how to make a fabric ruffle it's a very simple diy tutorial it's actually a request from a subscriber so it's very very simple and very straightforward fabric manipulation technique so for this you need to decide how wide you want your ruffles to be and also you need to de de determine how close together you want the ruffles to be so to do this now you need to measure where you the space that your ruffle is going to cover let's say your ruffle is going to cover the space you are going to be using this on is around 20 inches okay so if you want the ruffles to be really really close together you can multiply these 20 inches by 3 to give you 60 inches but if you want it to just be normal you can multiply it by 2 to give you 40 inches so for me i'll be multiplying this by 3 and it's going to give me 60 inches so i have my fabric on fold and this fabric is by 60 it's a scuba fabric so i have my 60 inches already the next thing now is i'm going to decide how wide i want my ruffles to be the ruffles can start from even as low as two inches three four five or six inches but for me it can even go as high as 10 inches for this tutorial i'll be working with six inches so now i'm going to be marking my six inches like this and once I mark it round, I'm going to make it into a straight line and then I'll cut it out. So I'll mark this. Remember I said it's not a static, it depends on how wide you want yours to be. So once I have my six inches marked, I'm going to cut it out like that so this is a uh, this is a scuba fabric it doesn't throw so i'm not going to be hemming it on the side so if you have like a zigzag scissors you can use this to cut it out so that it will even beautify the edges for you so for me now i have this but let's say you're working with a anakara fabric and you don't wish to line it what you just need to do is add little allowance to it and then on each side you can either turn it in like this and so or you either pipe it with a bias of matching or contrasting color whichever one you wish to work with okay so now that i have this the next thing for me now is to determine the midpoint of this fabric remember this was six inches for me so it means the midpoint will be six divided by two and that is going to be three inches or you can just put your fabric on fold like this so now I'll mark the 3 inches straight and then I'll make it into a straight line to guide me. You can actually do this or you can just highball it. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be marking it straight so that we can see what I'm doing well. Okay, so I've marked this now. You can see the chalk. Now, on this place that I marked, I'll put my machine on gathers and i run a gather stitch around it before I bring it here to drag. Okay, so I've gone ahead to stitch it following the lines that I make. The line is just there to guide you. So now I'm going to pick one of the thread now and then I'll start to gather it. And then I'll gather and make sure that I'm being careful as I'm gathering. So I'm gathering it back to, remember this is 16, 16 inches. So I'm going to, you can see the effect is giving us already. I'm going to gather it back to the 20 inches that I want to put it on. So you keep gathering it like this and make sure that you don't drag it too much so that you don't cut your thread because if you cut the thread it means you have to start all over again but you can see what effect this is giving us already okay so i'll continue gathering it then i'll bring it back to show us so it is all gathered now as you can see what we have and i'm going to check to see the measurement so you can see this is exactly 20 inches and our gather is pretty close together and it's really lovely so if you don't want it this close you can just multiply your actual measurements by two 
and then you run your gather stitch and just drag just like I did this so now I'll take it to the mannequin so that we will see different styles you can form with this so like I said you can form various styles with this you can see you can just place it across like this or you can just fold this into two and place it around your shoulder okay so like I said you can just double it and then have it around your shoulder like this whatever it is that you wish to use this ruffles for is really beautiful and lovely so give this a thumbs up if this is what you like and let us know in the comment section any challenges you may encounter see you in the next one bye